All right, guys. <laughs> what is up, YouTube? Um, so I'm about to take the lenses off of my taillights right now and uh, just make it clear because there's a second lens behind this red lens that I want to just show because I don't like the look of red taillights, at least on my car. So we're going to do that. Uh, I'll show you guys how to do that in case you guys don't know. So it's a quick little tutorial by Alif. I got to take the ratchet from Riku. He's doing his brakes right now. Ratchet has been acquired. All right, guys, we got a special feature today on the channel, what Mr. Ismail. Uh, he's, visiting, <laughs> he's visiting us from Boston. Anyways, so I've taken off. I don't have my, um, I don't have a trunk liner on right now, guys, because um, I took them off when I did my coilovers, and I still have not put them back on because I'm just very lazy. Anyways, you want to take that off, and right here, as you can see, we have one, two, three bolts holding on the tail light. And this is, we're just gonna remove all those. These should all be eight millimeter bolts and we're gonna do that real quick. All right, all right guys, so as you can see, we've taken it off. Um, I took off the clip and everything, the bolts right here. i am put them away so I don't lose them. But here's the tail light and I'm gonna work on another one. I'll do the off camera real quick. All right, guys, so I took out the trunk lights. Um, you just gotta remove this bolt right here, I think. I don't know, to be honest, I didn't even remove the one on this side and it just came out, so I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm kinda just like freestyling it. But um, yeah, this should come out now. It's just kinda stuck. Oh. This just fell out. Um, probably need that for later. Like condos where I'm around. Put that right there. All right, guys. So, this is the one from the from that side. Is it? It is. Yep. Yeah. And then this one just comes out. They're they're kind of they're gonna be a little stuck in there, so you just kind of have to force them out. But as you can see, I got this one out. Uh, if it'll just cooperate with me. Sorry, guys. My camera work is so. Oh, did I break something? Nope. We're good. Anyway, so here we have the lights, and we're gonna proceed to heating them up with the heat gun and taking the lenses off all right so what you got to do so the easier way to do this is you put this in an oven on a tray with foil um at least that's what i saw on tiktok and you put it at 225 for two two minutes uh, not two minutes sorry for 10 minutes and then you can just peel it right off but i don't want to put this in my oven because my mom will probably yell at me so i'm just gonna hit it with the heat gun for a while and go in it with a with a knife and try to peel it off without doing too much damage to the lenses all right, guys, so I have the heat gun right here. I'm just gonna heat around the edges and heat it up for a while. It might take a little bit because I am just using a heat gun and not an actual oven. But yeah, and then I'm gonna work on it with this scraper and try to peel it off and hopefully not crack the lens because I do want to save those just in case. Bro, it smells like marshmallows. Oh my god. Bro, I actually lit up his jacket. Oh my god. Dude, it actually smells like marshmallows. It's really purple. Oh my goodness. And I still can't get this thing off, bro. I love it. Bleep. No, oh, what? Okay. Bleep. It's just a red outline. It's kind of. Yeah, no. All right, guys. So I got the lens off finally. As you can see, there's little red outlines on the side. But I'm just going to use a silver Sharpie later on and color those in because it's, it's really not that deep. Um, also, while I was doing that, I accidentally burnt my jacket. Uh, where is it? Yeah, I literally let my, lit my jacket on fire of the heat gun and i'm stupid so rest in peace my phillies jacket um but hey we got clears all right now i'm gonna do the rest and i'll time my that for you guys as well
All right, guys. So as you can see right here, I have taken the lenses off. I need to go over the edges with silver Sharpie, perhaps, to make it look a little bit better. I kind of cracked it right there, but I mean, yeah, it's, it's whatever. What it is, guys. And then, um, see, this part's all good. Just need to clean it up a little bit. But for free clears, can't really complain. So we have the lights on. But that's not even that bright. Oh, you can turn on the lights again. <laughs> Move. I just don't like the red outline. I know, that's what I'm gonna, I'm just gonna color it in with, with uh, Sharpie. Like, with Sharpie. I guess I'm not worth. I'm just gonna steal it. Oh, that's, that's true. Turn on the lights. <laughs> uh, flip the knob all the way right. Uh. Or I guess press press uh, press the on button, but don't don't press the clutch. <laughs> yep, yep. Chill. Let go of the brake. Oh, oh, you're not stepping on it. <laughs> brake. That's not. See, that's not. That's not that bright. That's not that bright. All right, so, stop. Let go. Let's chill, let's chill, let's chill. Yeah, we're straight. Alright, <laughs> yeah, not too shabby. Alright guys, it's just flashing on camera, but in person it's not flashing because like the LEDs and the camera don't work well together, but honestly, it looks really good. This guy's car is finally coming together. Ignore the uh, tape, but... Sheesh! But yeah guys, that's pretty much the video today, so I'll hand it back over to Alif. Alright guys, before I hand the camera off to Alif, actually, we are going to be recording some rollers because it's finally not raining. Uh, it's perfect weather. It might be a bit windy, but you guys won't tell on camera. So yeah, without further ado, we're going to shoot some rollers. Uh, I'll probably input it right now, right after this clip. And then after that, we're, it's pretty much it for this video. So yeah.
right guys so here are the clears on the car we bolted everything back up um so yeah you see there's still some red showing up but you can just color that in with some uh, silver sharpie and it should be okay and there's some like glue left over here but you know that'll go away over time i'm not really like super picky about little stuff like this because at the end of the day this was free and yeah i need a sand i need to figure this situation out but yeah i'm gonna color this in because it's still like a little bit of red showing but from afar it looks it's unnoticeable and it looks pretty good for free 99 this is probably <coughs> the quickest and easiest solution to clear taillights and i think it matches my car really well since everything else is just like gray and chrome silver my paint is looking very clean today actually even though i haven't washed my car in a bit but um yeah thank you for watching i hope uh you guys can try this out and enjoy the results remember to take your time when heating everything up and go slowly make sure it's heated up all the way if you are using a heat gun um that cracked because i didn't heat it up enough um so don't make that mistake that i did but yeah uh thank you for watching see you guys in the next video it's a leaf uh yeah yep. all right guys as you know this was ali's video um honestly it turned out really well we're probably gonna just wrap or sharpie that red outline because the actual housing itself is red so we can't get rid of that sorry if it's windy i'll try to increase the uh, voice and decrease the uh, wind noise as much as i can but um you just heard the outro from Alif. now you're gonna hear it from me um hope you guys enjoyed today's video stay tuned um my car we are doing a lot to my car right now you guys will see uh, the next few upcoming videos are going to be about my car. So I'm thankful to be back on back in progress with my car. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, don't forget, nothing's impossible. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.